Hey, what's up guys? It's Kilo with Faith Strut. I'm the founder and author of Faith Strut. A lot of people don't even know that there is a specific destiny that God has for your life. And even to put it into more of a frame, there's a day, the exact day, the exact time, God knows that you will, your life will be over. And, um, if God knows that, and if we trust God for that, then we also have to trust God that he knows the business, he knows what's inside of me, and he wants it to come out. There's a reason why God grieves over the babies that are aborted, because God sends solutions through his children, and he calls us to raise them up in a way that they can be arrows in the earth. That's what the word of God says. And so you, just as you were not aborted, you are an arrow. I talk about this in my book. You are an arrow for the Lord's purpose. Now, the thing is, even though you weren't, you may have not been raised as an arrow. You may have not been raised as an arrow to pierce the plan and the attack of the enemy. You may have not been raised as a strong man or woman of God, but that is okay because with the help of the Holy Spirit, you will become the man or the woman, the potential that God has for you. And it starts with knowing and desiring to know and dig into who God has called you to be. Now, this is so difficult because a lot of times we don't see this modeled. You know, even if we go to church, we may see people preach. We may see people prophesy, um, speak with what God hears um, is saying and they speak it out loud, right? But sometimes we don't always understand what's inside of me and how do I pull it out? Not just, oh, I'm called to inspire or I'm called to be an entrepreneur. No, there's something specific inside of you. God has called you to a specific people. God has given you a specific tone, specific skills inside of you that nobody else has, okay? And I don't want you out here just being like, let me go start a business, or let me go do this or that without any direction or just thinking that you're like the rest of the world. But if you know that you have something inside of you and you've been called by God, then you have a responsibility to say, God, show me what's inside. I want to discover what's inside. And I talk about this in my book about how I know someone, so many people, and they have specific traits. I mean, there's this one friend I, I speak about a lot often because she can draw better than Picasso, baby. But she she was never trained. I mean, beautiful, gorgeous. It comes like drinking water to her. You too have a skill inside of you that comes just like that. And so I want you to tune in to Faith Strat. I'm so happy to be sharing with you today. I want you guys to comment below. What are some of the most um, fears that you faced when starting a business, when launching out, when walking by faith? What are some of the most biggest fears or struggles that you do encounter when it comes to walking by faith, when it comes to being a faith strut follower of God? Okay, not just, uh, not just oh, I'm following God, yeah, I'm doing it here, I'm doing it Monday and Tuesday, and then the rest of the week, I'm gonna do my own thing. No, a, a, a every day, a faith strut follower of God. And real quick, I'm going to give you the definition of faith. Faith, as we know, whoa, child. Mm. faith, as we know, is doing things not by sight. All right. Not by sight. God said, no, a build an ark. God, I ain't never seen rain, but by faith, that's how he got in the faith hall of fame. Fame. God said to Abraham, I'm going to make you a father of nations. Count the stars more than that. God said, Abraham said, God, I didn't even, I don't even have one child, but he still picked up his stuff and he left by faith. And that's how he's in the hall of faith. And we still talk about his name today. Hall of faith is in Hebrews 11. And so listen, guys, in order for you to walk by faith and accomplish the things that God has for you, faith will not grip you in this season. I mean, fear, no, faith will grip you. Fear, in Jesus' name, fear will not grip you in this season. Faith will come over you when you allow it to, when you submit to the Holy Spirit and give you power to do things that you did not even think were imaginable. Now, I want you to press into God this season. I want you to be listening to his spirit, listening to what God wants to say to you. I'm doing something special this weekend. I'm announcing it later today. So if you watch this video this morning, 
um it's going to be later today if you watch it this evening it should already be on the page if you're watching it after this date don't worry because you can still go to the link in our page go to facestrat.com and you can still find the replay of this webinar it's about how to hear from god about your purpose this is so crucial. I don't care if you've been walking with God for 26 years. God has a destiny for your life. God wants to reveal it to you. He's not sitting up there like, oh my gosh, I'll wait until she's 53. No, like right now, even if you are 53, honey, come on, come on. Don't wait until you're 75, okay? God has a purpose for you right now. Get clarity on that call in 2020. I'm not talking about, you know, let's, let's not be in 2020 you know, November or even August. Oh my gosh, I'm still trying to get this. Or, you know, I did one thing. No, let's have clarity about who God has called you to be, the mission that he's placed on you and your life so that you can move forward in excellence. Now, let me go and fix my hair, child. I gotta go. Thank you for following Faith Strat. I'm so excited for what God's doing in your life. Please tag someone under this video that you know is starting a, a business by faith. It doesn't have to be a faith-based business, but they're starting a business by faith, that they've been called to influence people by faith, okay? You're following this page because you know that God has called you to be an influencer for God's kingdom, and you're doing it by faith, and you're not giving up. So you're coming here for encouragement. You're reading your Bible every day. You're reading your word every day by faith because you know that God has a great and mighty thing for your life. Jeremiah 29, 11. I love you. Bye.